Hello and welcome to Gun to Break a Three! Woo! Andrew, do you know whose suit I'm wearing? Um, is it, uh, Setsuna F. No, it's Owlia Haptisms. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, the co- like, the design I knew, and I was like, yeah. the is, uh... And you're in Amara Race. Uh, so now that we're in multiplayer together, we can go to the mission counter. I think we can oh, go to... Oh, dude, our, they got our mobile suits all... Yeah. Got, like, blown up? Oh, that's cool. Alright. Hey, Trey, why don't we play the new gun Um, because it's been... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, I could select there. It allowed me to, like, be on the menu for the, the, uh, DLC missions. I wonder if you don't have to have them to be able to play them. Huh. But regardless, we're gonna start on Chapter 1. Mission 1. Uh... That's the mission you have yet to complete, right? Uh, I guess so. Why don't I'll you do take a look tomorrow. at it and see? I can't. Oh, well, did you look at it? Yeah, leader only. Oh, wow. Can I change the leader? No, you just just pick it. We'll yeah, I can make you a leader. No, no, pick it and see what happens. Okay, we'll go to mission one then. Um, as you guys voted, I will be using uh, some of my Gundams that I've made, and I'm very excited to show them off on you. Uh, you want to just do it on casual difficulty or on standard difficulty? Oh, uh, we're doing at least standard. Okay, let's go standard. Do they got like a hard difficulty? Yeah, there's also a, a difficult. And then there's yeah, an extreme difficulty. I think. Extreme, that's what I like. Let's go on standard for this one. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this little dweeby hop he does. I can't see it. I just see you moving slightly on a circle. Oh, you don't see him like kind of squat when he's walking. If I do this, oh, you talking about this? Yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, you know you're walking. Oh yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. You're also, not... you have to hold start to be able to start the mission as well. Huh? That's what it means when it says hold start to deploy. Yeah. Interesting. I can't tell you how excited I am. Not just to be playing this game with you, but also to get to try out this brand new gun I just made. No, mine looks, mine looks scrappy. I don't got all the good parts yet. You can see this cutscene as well, right? Yeah. Okay. What kind of game would it be if it only let the leader watch the cutscene? I'm just making sure. Starts from here. Oh, what's the story of this game? So, this is a world where uh, Gundam, the anime, exists. This is Build Fighters. We're playing Build Basically, Fighters. Basically, yeah. Okay. okay. I think now you have a good idea what you're in for, Andrew. <laughs> I played this. I just don't. I played the first few missions. I just don't remember. Yeah. I'm excited because I really love this game. Even though uh, it may not be as like, active cutscene-wise as, like, New Gundam Breaker. The game is much better, so I don't care. Nah, nah, I want cutscenes. The new one has cutscenes? No, it has, uh, just like this, except imagine a visual novel box on the bottom of the screen. I don't know, I don't want that. I want, uh, I want, I want to hit stuff. Yeah, the, the start of this is pretty slow. I forgot how slow it was. Like, it's a funny joke, having the old lady, like, throwing a fit about the kids that can't beat it, that are complaining, but... <laughs> yeah, then I'm over here, like, I want to play a gun of there is yeah. the title card. Let me, let me do it. Come on. So the basic premise here is that uh, Misa has just run into you, basically, and it's like, oh, you come check out this arcade that I know. What was, what'd you say? She's basically like, hey, come check out this arcade that I know. What was her name? Misa. Jar Jar Binks? No. <laughs> oh, man, I'm excited. Because I'm using some suit, some parts from, like, uh, the DLC. So I'm excited for this. The DLC that I still haven't beaten. Oh, yeah, that claw is so satisfying. I want a cool claw. There is, there is a double O stuff. Right? Yes, absolutely. I assume, I assume there would be. The basic premise of my suit is all built around, like, melee damage. Oh, 
been phasing in. Yeah. To get affected. It's pretty sweet. So as you can see, you also have uh, special abilities building up and charging. You also have, if you use your D-pad, I don't know how many you have right now, but you'll get option equipment that allows, oh, like, to see that axe that I'm using. That's option equipment. See the axe that I'm using? Yeah. Oh! Did you see that? Did you just grab him? Yeah, check this out. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, watch this. <laughs> um, are you doing something on your screen? Yeah, I was grabbing him and then just, uh, also the viewers can see it. Grabbing him and then just, uh, like smashing his face. Did you not see okay. it? No, on mine you were smashing, uh, nothing uh, and the other guy was running around you. That's unfortunate. But I was, I was concerned. Also, don't forget you can hold the right trigger to use your gun. Yeah, I know. Zoom in for some reason. I mean, you know, if you want to. Wait, I want to open that. Hold oh, on. I'm sorry. You said I'll let you go. Oh, is there stuff in it, though? There's like yeah, but we both it. get them. No, I'm just wondering. Oh, know. yeah. So sometimes you get for parts from them, and sometimes you can just get uh, plastic from them. But plastic is something you can use to make parts that you want to use that aren't as powerful as you want them to be. Use them. God, that little, that little axe I have. I wish I could build with them. So small. Yeah. yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty cool, but they are pretty small. Oh, battle royale, boy! Battle royal. You see that? Yep. The OG. Nobody cares <laughs> about Fortnite. Come on now. Uh, also, after this, I'm probably gonna go back to the first gun that I ever made in this game. That I'm still like, I still have it. It's not as not as good as it needs to be, but I'm excited to use it. So do you have, like, do you have to heavily upgrade stuff to even survive in the... On the harder difficulties, yeah. Okay. For me now, at this point, it's more just about optimization. Oh, I got Zaka two legs. Yeah. Like, just because I can upgrade, I want to now, you know? Yeah. Just to try out different stuff. Yeah. Well, and the special moves that I'm using and that you're using uh, level up as you use them. And oh, okay. when they level up, you get better versions of them. I'm sure I'm using mine. So, like, I've beaten the game and I'm using different builds now because I don't have all the specials. That's why before we were recording, you heard me say that I need to use the H1 body because there's a burst ability that only the H1 body has that I have to use enough times to be able to uh, keep like for every club. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. It's a really cool system. Coincidentally, I, I knew we were going to play this, but I started building a kit. Yeah. And I don't think I've done it in eight months or something. It's been a while. Yeah. The last one I built was a Zaku uh, Sniper, I think. Zaku Sniper's really good. It's a good kit. I was a big fan of it. It's the first Zaku I put together, and I really, it had some unique uh, parts in it. Yeah. The wrong box over here. Yeah, you should make sure to open it. Ooh. She has some good stuff. I just got Gundam arms. Hey. It's Gundam arms, though. Can I go into battle without arms? Uh, no. <laughs> it makes you full, create a full suit. Yeah. I bet the new gun never breaker lets you, uh, let you kill that on. No. <laughs> oh! Oh, man. Did you see I that? Got, I just got a glimpse of it. Why are you so small? I just realized that. What do you mean? You're, like, shorter than me. Yeah, I am. The IBO suits are actually shorter than Oh, you're using an IBO. Yeah, mo I have I have the Goosey and legs right now. You should see the F91. Oh man, really? Yeah. Maybe I should is, do is a straight build of it at some point in this game. 
Is that a, uh... I think we get an F91 kit. Yeah, the F91 kit's a fun build. I want to get the... I want to get a, ma a master grade just because... I feel like if I get a high grade, it's going to be too small. It is it's very small. It is yeah. very small. So, so I think I did this mission. Yeah. Um, I just not realized that because I'm just having fun. It's it's okay. The viewers are good to see it now. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep. Yep. All it takes. I was like, I'll just welcome. hang back and let you hit him since you're about to get him, and then you just destroyed him. You got a logo on your. You have like a uh, use one of the, any of the logo stuff? No, not normally. Uh, okay. Me either. Oh uh, yeah, I see a lot, man. <laughs> For me, it's because I change parts so often. I uh, have the. Wait, do I throw this at the end of that? I do. It's really cool. Wait, well, hold on, dude. You have like a giant two-handed axe. What the heck? Yeah, that's part of what I was talking oh, about. Option man, equipment. This sucks. It's option equipment. I got a little hatchet. <laughs> so yeah, that's mission oh, one cool. right there. Oh, we're competing for score? Yeah! So then you get to see the parts that you brought home. Oh, I gotta hit next. And it's very important, if you want to take all the parts that you brought, or that you found in the mission, press X. Uh, yeah. And if you want to sell them all, press triangle. I'm going to sell all this. Oh, I got a new action? Yeah! T-Rex, Grand Slam, ooh, man. Oh. Uh, that's a little ridiculous. <laughs> you see that uh, Barbados in the background, the standee? That's because Iron Blood Orphans was coming out. Oh. I always thought this was a really cool shot, actually. Like, it's like a, hey, you're walking down the road with her, basically, you know? What do you mean? Where are you at? In the cutscene where you're, like, looking at her from a sideways angle? All right. Well, apparently they're on the cutscenes uh, separately. Really? Yeah, I'm behind you. I'm afraid to skip it because I don't... <laughs> it must be because I hit circle before you did. Yeah. And didn't wait. <laughs> Let me know when you're done. Yeah, okay. Because I don't want to screw you up. So we just got scouted for uh, Ayato Shopping Arcade's Gunpla team. Nice, finally. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Yeah. I've trained for this. I have half a Gundam. <laughs> I, have, I have a half a Gunpla kit sitting next to me right now. I have the body, the arms, and the head. Yeah. What about, you need somebody to form the legs? I can call, uh, call Allure or Pidge and, uh, Dang it! No, Allure is the leg. Oh. Oh, like the dude from Resident Evil? No, the guys from Voltron. Come on. I think it's heads on a little bit sturdier. So, have you made it to the uh, Gunpla store yet? Yeah, I just got there. So, I love the idea that like most of the kits that are shown off that are sideways are newer kits that have just recently come out. <laughs> oh, yeah, they gotta get that. <laughs> Gotta, 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 gotta. I'm going to now change Gundams back to my original hey, you're done. first Gundam. Yeah. How do I? Okay. I don't want to have to have you wait for me forever. Well, I don't mind. I can edit it out. But if you don't want to watch the cutscenes, you don't have to. I figured we'd leave them for the uh, viewers, but we could skip Whoa. them. I'm sure people have probably beaten them by this point. Whoa. What? Man, why'd you have to? use the same color scheme. You don't have to rub it in that bad. Jeez. <laughs> that was my first Gundam that I made. Like with, I upgraded it quite a bit over the time, but I'm really happy with it. This will have to do. I don't go back to hangar. Okay. All right. I'm back. I had to throw it together. Yeah. Okay. You ready for mission two then? Let's do it. Alright, we'll go for standard again. Unless you want to try going to hardcore. 
Let's do it. That's a lot of parts. Yep. Holy crap. Hey, oh, man. Yeah? Remember when I said that we should do hardcore, you know, and we weren't no we weren't no babies? Yeah. Hey, I was wrong. <laughs> Although part of me thinks, was I right? Because now I have a bunch <laughs> a bunch of good stuff. I will say I feel like we just went through the rigor. Oh yeah. But uh you know, I'm gonna go ahead and load into my uh, my second version of the Iron Guards for this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start something from scratch. Wow, it's just like a oh okay yeah that's a lot. It's uh I went from my level two gear to my level twenty gear. Yeah. Johnny Riddens. Yeah, Johnny Riddens Galgo. So actually, I think I'm instead going to use uh, the Mark III. No, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to use the Mark III. What's the melee hand? Uh, so the melee hand is just like a physical smash that you can use. Should I always use the highest level weapon? Not always. It really depends on what you want. To use. How's that beam ribbon? Beam ribbon's really good. Try that out. I'm going to go with Ein Burn this time. Oh, hey, I have a missile launcher I can use. Yep. Ooh, look at that. I like it. Hey, so check this out. What's <sighs> up? So. Go up. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I like the, the bottom of you personally because you can look up at your Gundam. What do you think of my Gundam over here? It's average. That's my Einburn! Version 2? No, the Ein Guard is the other one. I thought about using version 2, but I said instead Oh man, why is your stuff? So, look at the size difference! Good they're about God. the same. No, they're not. Look at it. No, they're about the same. No. Also, this reminds me, I want to get some. Some, like, sealant. Yeah. For, like, a matte finish. Also, you might be able to buy a different suit now. What do you mean? From the shop counter over here? I don't know. You might be able to. You can just buy suits? Yeah. Like a different suit for your character to wear. Oh, okay. Also, I can move. It's fun. Right here what? at the shop counter? Yeah, I can what? run into you and move you. Oh, uh, okay. Screen. I thought you could just pick me up. No. Okay. The shop counter. I have... Can you buy any uh, kits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have 40,000 credits, so. Yeah, you probably got a lot of money for that last yeah, mission. And everything else is like 30,000, it looks like. Uh, you can also see builder parts that allow you to get uh, a bunch of different stuff you can put on your Gundam that are all really cool. What is it? Uh, the builder's part menu. If you hit R1, you can roll it a bit. Uh, okay. you, can, you can get all this stuff that you can put on your Gundam to give more option abilities. Uh, they're all really cool. If you get the pilot figures and poly cap parts, those just increase performance. So that's what I put on them. Uh, then you can go over to avatar suits and you can see the suits. 
You can wear sets in this blue suit. If you have it I don't have it unlocked. What do you have access to? Just Earth Federation Forces, Earth Federation <gasps> Forces Ace, and Earth Federation Forces Custom. Okay, as we play through more, you'll get more suits. And I can buy all the suits that I basically that we basically fought against. Okay, as you got parts. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, the more we'll unlock in that as we play. But uh, let me select the mission. So Let's not do it on hardcore this time. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, mission number, we were on mission number two, right? I thought we just did number two. That's the one we died on in hardcore, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. we had to play it again, yeah. Yeah, because we got to beat it. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm super, super uh, powerful compared to what I was before, so we'll see what happens. And I'm using the Iron Burn! Bang, bang, I can't, bang. like, I can't wait to just show you all my Gundams for this. <laughs> Everybody thought this was a series about playing a really good game, and in truth, it's just wanting, me wanting to be able to show off all my Gundams. <laughs> I'm also excited to see the stuff that you make as we, as we work our way through this game. Though. So, I like this way this one, can I save it? Yeah! I'll show you how to do that after this mission. And you can save it and then build a different one too and not lose it. Oh man, Einburn feels so powerful. Oh wow, I'm one shotting everything. <laughs> yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? It's, it's, it's worth it. This is the Dynasty Warriors feeling for me. Like. Yeah, do you, you just have Dynasty Warriors, man? No. <laughs> bumps me out, man. That was the one for me. So yeah. another. It bumps you out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been over this on the podcast. It's, I actually put that as a timestamp on the podcast. It bumps you out, Andrew. <laughs> um, another thing that you unlock as you beat the game is elemental statuses for your weapons. So, like, this uh, great sword of mine has corrosive on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool, Andrew. Can you see me? Uh, hold on, let me find you. Yeah, I see you, yeah. Yep, that's that's pretty sick, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, this is this is worth it. Telling you. Um. Can, so I have the heavy arms backpack, but I, can I use the gigantic minigun? Yeah. So your options, um, equipment. Press your D-pad. And, did you equip it on the options uh, equipment? Head Vulcan, beam spot gun, and beam gat. Oh, beam gat. I like that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, well that was amazing. This is what this game's supposed to be like, Andrew. Hey, that's not super hard. <laughs> well, and you're still getting parts, too. Like, that's the thing. Even if you get parts you don't really want, you can merge them with parts you do want to make those parts better. And you can spend plastic to make parts that you like even better. So, like, for instance, if I wanted to, I could go back and make the Iron Guard Mark I just as good as the final, like, the Mark III. Hey, look, we're onto the second area already. <laughs> that's, that's wild. So we're going to beat this in, like, four minutes? <laughs> you remember the second versus, area here? <laughs> versus losing in 30? Uh, it wasn't 30, sir. It was 45. <laughs> oh I'm looking at an hour and a half that we've been recording, and I've got, like, only, a, like, 20 minutes of that is usable. <laughs> I am a... Yeah, it's pretty good, right? I like the look and I like the, all the abilities I have. Oh, hey, look, it's the boss. It's a different boss, too, like I told you earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Crappy. Oh, they, got, they have purple names, everybody. Watch out. They're probably super powerful. <laughs> oh, I, love how... <laughs> I love how cocky you get immediately after we, <laughs> we just died forever. Oh, by the way, I haven't lost any health. But yeah, neither have I. <laughs> Unlike me dying immediately. Feels good though, doesn't it? And honestly, that makes the actual like tough fights that are tough for a reason and not just like difficulty spike like really satisfying. Oh man, what's the, what's the head Vulcan? The head Vulcan's really good for staggers. I'm not using it. I'm trying to use it. Press circle, right? Yeah, it just fires in front of you like little tiny bullets. Beams. 
spot down. Oh, well, let's go back to the peak now. <laughs> I don't blame you. I also read that if I have a large rifle, it does more damage if I zoom in. Yes. It's a sniper. Really? Here I they are. Oh, uh, well, hopefully we can beat these guys. Oh, they're diff. Oh my yeah, god. They're different every time, man. And what it's only that? one guy this time. What is that? He's got the MP. <laughs> <laughs> he has the MP on wings. <laughs> you know, we really showed him off, so I'm glad that. Uh, the only problem of having played on a harder difficulty and getting really good parts for it is that now you're going to be looking for that from regular enemies as well. <laughs> yeah. And I'm at all my parts from now on are. Not from now on. There's going to be, like, random enemies that drop in that are going to be actually difficult to have really good parts, too. Plus, there are missions... There's a system in this game uh, called Hotspot, which is where some missions have uh, extra difficult enemies for standard mode that give you better gear, and it also means that more rare gear becomes available. Which is really cool. I'm bump fully into the gun for stuff again now. Yup. This is just reinforcing it. Yeah, now look at how this feels and feel it at your fingertips and remember the footage you watched of New Gun Breaker and understand why all of us are so mad at it. <laughs> no, no, the new one's better. Obviously. It's newer, so it's better. That's how it works, right? Right. Wow, okay. Uh, well, it's hopefully... just one, two. <laughs> <laughs> Not 45, okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully... It's literally just one. <laughs> hopefully we can just say uh... Have <laughs> uh, you dropped in yet? Huh? Oh, this should be good. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, I feel like this first episode of the series needs to be like at least three missions. <laughs> so we should probably do another one. Oh yeah, I'm fine with that now. I mean, yeah, all this stuff I'm just gonna sell though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, me too. And I'm gonna sell it. You shouldn't, actually. You should hold on to it specifically just so you unlock the ability to purchase that suit in the uh, in the store in case you need any more parts from it later on. Wow, I unlocked something for the Gundam Astray Red Frame. Yeah! I actually did get um, some stuff I didn't already have. I don't think it's going to be high enough level for me to... Oh, yeah. man, I got an Astray Red Dragon Head. Yeah. But it's all low-level stuff. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in my my pride and joy this time. Use my favorite suit that I've ever made.